Welcome to the College of Law Library. You can access the Law Library from the first floor of the Urban Life Building. Before entering the library, make sure you show your ID to one of our friendly security guards. When you first enter the library, you will notice two service desks on your right. The first desk is the circulation desk. Students can check out a number of items from the circulation desk, including course textbooks on reserves, topical audio CDs, board games, headphones, study room keys, dry erase markers, power cords for laptops, phones, tablets, and iPods, and Ethernet cables for accessing the campus network. The second desk on your right is the reference desk. The reference desk is staffed by law librarians and graduate research assistants. They will provide you with research assistance on issues regarding where is the best place to start your research or how you can locate a certain source. Across from the reference desk you will find the alcove. The alcove contains public workstations, a Bloomberg terminal, and a Panther print station. Next to the alcove you will find print research guides, the library book exchange, and a hot and cold water fountain. Across from the water fountain and next to the reference desk you will find the reference collection. In addition to a copy of the official Code of Georgia and general reference books, you can also find the Law Library's DVD collection. and the Law Library's Study Aids collection. Let's now continue our tour through the library. As you make your way through the main corridor of the library, you will notice a hallway on your right. This is where the computer lab is located. Before going into the lab, place your drink on the stand. You will find the technology help desk in the computer lab, along with law student-only workstations, a Panther print station, and a LexisNexis printer. As you continue through the first floor, you will notice study carrels and small two-person tables dispersed throughout the floor. In addition to the computer lab, the first floor also houses the copy room. The copy room includes two free scanners, a Coke machine, and a copy machine that is eight cents per page. Let's now make our way up the steps to the second floor, also known as the quiet zone. The second floor contains four person tables, two person tables, study carrels, the 180 and 184 study rooms, and the restrooms. Each study carrel includes a power outlet and a network plug-in. Remember that you can check out power cords and network cables from the circulation desk. As you walk through the second floor, you will notice several quiet signs. If you need to talk about a topic with another student, please check out a study room or use one of the tables located on the first floor. Let's now use a little warp speed to make it down the end of this aisle. Located in the back corner of the library, you will find more four-person tables, restrooms, and a water fountain.
You will also find a ramp that will take you back down to the first floor. In the corner on the first floor you will find soft seating and another set of restrooms. If you look to your left you will see the main corridor in the library. Along the side wall on the first floor you will find the 120 study rooms. In the corner by these study rooms you will find additional soft seating and the law review office. As you make your way back towards the main corridor of the library, you will find the reading room to your right. The reading room includes soft seating, the 130 study rooms, and newspapers and magazines. When you exit the reading room, you will find additional study carrels, soft seating, and a charging station for mobile devices. This concludes the library tour. Thank you for taking time to watch this short video. We look forward to helping you with all of your research and study needs.